Welcome in everybody. Uh, let's show you how to update firmware on a Speedduino ECU. So I've got a one of their simple V.3 or V.0.3.7 with an Arduino Mega on it. And we're gonna go ahead and show you how to update this guy. So first thing we need to do is connect this guy. And you can see lights glowing on the VR uh, sensor. Um, board there and let's go ahead and jump over so first thing you need to do is get the Speedduino speedy loader so the speedy loader is uh, available on their uh, wiki space here go ahead for me it's the 64-bit windows and then when it's downloaded it's just an executable so just double click that executable and Sometimes your computer will ask for admin permissions to run it, but I think I already did it on the first time. And uh, here you go. So this is what the speedy loader looks like. This makes this process really simple. It used to be a lot more complicated. You used to have to use the Arduino uh, compiler and compile and load it onto the Arduino. But now that's all kind of uh, put behind this really easy uh, kind of single pane of glass here. So let's go ahead and take a look. The cool thing about this is you can choose your firmware. So you can go retroactively change your firmware to any of these. It's just the um, it's the year and the month. So the current one for 2024 is February.2. Um, that's the newest one available right now. It is 2025, but they have just uh, just this one available. So currently on there, we've got the 2023.10. So let's go ahead and load up the 2024.02. So you just click the firmware and then you choose the port. And as long as it's plugged in and everything's right, it will detect your serial port. So you can see the COM port five, Arduino Mega is found. So we just hit uh, select and then just go ahead and hit upload. Now you're gonna want to let this thing just sit and upload the firmware. Um, it has the INI files in that same file path where the speedy loader is. So it's just sending that over to the board now. And uh, yeah, you can go ahead and just leave this be, let it do its thing. This orange banner is nothing to be worried about. I know it kind of looks like something went wrong, but it's just a saying that it's a volunteer project and they're looking for getting people to help support the Speedduino uh, project. So anyway, um, this will just take a second here. Um, but after this, if everything goes smooth, you're good to go. And then we'll open up Tuner Studio and we can show you uh, what you need to do there because the definition file, the INI uh, files for the tune and for the uh, firmware need to match. And so you need to just make sure that on Tuner Studio you download that. Okay, so you can see that it's uploaded successfully. If you want, what's cool here is you can just throw a bass tune on it now. So if you go into their bass tunes and you have something you wanna work for, uh, work on, it's like BMW M52, you can go ahead and just download the tune. And it's just telling you that, hey, this is a starting point. So you can just go ahead and download it and throw it in your downloads, and then there you go. So you can pull a bass tune while you're in there and it just pops up in your downloads over here. So, um, we'll go ahead and exit this, and let's start up uh, Tuner Studio. And we're gonna go into Speedduino, and we're gonna load up, and it's showing that there's a difference report. Um, I know what I have on here is what I wanna use, so I'm just gonna head, go ahead and use controller settings um, and we'll just go hit that. Controller successfully, uh, settings successfully loaded. So just hit okay. And there we go. So you're ready to go. You can start a new tune up in the top left-hand corner. You'll see the date. Sorry, it's covered on the recording here for the screen, but it'll say 2024.02.2 for the firmware. So that's uh, how it is. The speedy loader makes it extremely easy. So, um, Hopefully everyone else has just as good of a time with it as I did. That's went pretty smooth. And uh, 
yeah, I don't do much speed Duno content, but I figured I'd do this because I had to do it for uh, a customer's car and it went a lot worse than this because it was a custom board. It wasn't a standard board, so it can get worse. But anyway, hope all is well. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.